Hello everybody, this is Canada the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can integrate EV-Link with Home Assistant without changing any firmware. In other words, as easy as it is possible. After that, you can enjoy the integration and control all your EV-Link devices from Home Assistant. Before continuing the video, please click the subscribe button as it motivates me to upload more videos. By the way, I have created another YouTube channel. It's related to entertainment, fun, and sightseeing. It will be great if you subscribe it too. You can find its link in description. Let's start. In order to integrate a link with Home Assistant without changing any firmware, First of all, hacks must be installed on your home assistant. If you do not know what is hacks and how to install it, watch the video on the top right corner of the screen. Also, you can find its link in description. In home assistant, after installing hacks, navigate to hacks, select integrations. At the bottom of the page, on the right, click on Explore and Download Repositories. Search Sonoff LAN. Select it. In this pop-up window, at the bottom of the window on the right, click Download this repository with hacks. Click Download. Son of LAN is downloaded. A restart is needed. On the left panel, click on Settings. Select System. Click on Restart at the top right corner of the screen. Click Restart. Home Assistant is rebooted. Let's check Zone of LAN integration. On the left panel in Home Assistant, I click on Hacks, click Integrations. Zone of LAN is ready to be used and there is no warning. Okay, on the left panel, select Settings. Then click Devices and Services. At the bottom of the page on the right, click Add Integration. Search Sonoff. Select Sonoff Integration. Enter your evening account credentials. After entering your Evilink account credentials, click Submit. Configuration is done. All devices paired with Evilink app are displayed here. You can select area for each of them. After that, at the bottom of the pop-up window, click Finish. Son of integration is added to Home Assistant. As you see, I have 8 devices, 18 entities. I click on 8 devices. I have camera, gateway, light, motion sensor, NS panel, switch, temperature and humidity sensor. We have battery status of battery operated devices. I select temperature and humidity sensor. As you see, we have humidity and temperature values. Also, we have the battery status. You can change the name of the device 
by clicking on edit settings in front of the name. In this example, temperature and humidity sensor, in front of it, we have edit icon. Click on it, change the name. Do not forget to click update. Switch is the wireless switch, this one. You see, single press, double press, hold. It's working. Let's check NS panel. I select NS panel. We have two relays of NS panel. We can set them to on or off. Also, we have both temperatures of NS panel. If I turn on the relays of NS panel manually, we have its feedback immediately in Home Assistant. Using Evening app, I trigger NS panel relays. You see immediately we have its feedback in Home Assistant. Motion sensor, I select it. Motion is detected. Motion sensor is clear. Motion is detected. Light is the Zigbee switch. You can control it using Home Assistant. Using Evening app, I trigger light. We have its feedback in Home Assistant immediately. Okay. I have a door window sensor. I want to pair it to Evilink app. On Evilink app, I select Zigbee bridge, tap on add. It enters into pairing mode. By pressing and holding door window sensor button for seven seconds, it enters into pairing mode. Flashing LED indicates that it enters entered into pairing mode. Device found, tap on next. Okay, I have I have just added a door window sensor. In order to add it to Sonoff integration in Home Assistant, in Sonoff integration, click on menu, select reload. Okay. You see nine devices added to Sonoff. Door window sensor is added. It's working. In this page, we have list of supported and tested devices. You can find the link of this page in description. I thank Seper Manavar Group and Artman Company for supporting me to make this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.